Hey there guys, welcome to Pemby's Gaming World. This video is a kind of tutorial on video interpolation, but this one is nothing to do with MeGUI. If you've been watching my MeGUI videos, you'll notice I take 30 FPS recordings, interpolate them to 60 FPS, so not only are they at 60 FPS in the properties, they actually visually look like the game's running at 60 frames a second. And uh, you know, there is a difference visually, and it, to me, it looks so much better. And I've been searching for a video on YouTube on how to do this technique in Sony Vegas and, and I've been you know I've come up short quite a lot of times but the video in question that I have found um, his name escapes me at the moment but all the information in the video in question uh, you know taught me how to do this is in the description uh, it's a video basically on how to use Sony Vegas via Twixter you have to have the Twixter uh, plug-in here we go, I'll show you the setting. I've already got it preset here. The Twixter Pro on your timeline, your actual project, if you go into your project here, it has to be at 60 FPS for this to work, okay? I've clicked on interpolate fields because normally I have that on none. Now I don't know if that makes any difference, but uh, I'm looking to do little experiments, to, especially on shooters, because what I find with this method, when you pan the camera left and right, you see the crosshair, you see like a, a trail following the crosshair, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna actually do one after this video, actually when I finish this video, and I'm gonna, you know, maybe do an up update video on better settings, I don't know. But this is early days, and uh, I'm just using the basic settings that this guy set out in the video. Right, so all we've got here, we've changed the speed, which is by default at 100. Okay, okay. <laughs> See, double click that, and you change that to 50, because it's normally on 100. And it's all you change, you don't change anything else. Right? Now, this is where I've got that installed in, in this bit of a clip, because where the cursor starts here, and where it ends, is at 30 FPS, visually. But where you can see the split in the track here is where I've added Twixter. Um, and what you do with that part of the track, you know, you just highlight it, right click it, properties, and change your playback rate to two. So you've you've halved one and you've doubled another one. So basically you're evening it out. The under sample rate goes down to 29.993. Don't worry about that and then you render it out and this is the resulting video where is it untitled 7 I've done quite a few here these are earlier experiments um, using this, this technique from another game played from Killzone 3 which is uh, another 30 FPS game let's double click and get that playing let's just let's just mute it now you can see it's at 30 FPS but watch very very closely see can you see it? It's at 60 now. you got to be viewing this on a 60 hertz model. Nice right up there from Chavez. He goes to knock Robinson on his ass and he makes it look easy. There you go. Has it's changed back to 30 now? Can you see? Let's just go from the middle of the video again. As you can see, the knockout there, it's at 60 frames a second. It knocks him down. Now, you see it change back to 30 you get the more cinematic look which I don't like if it's a video game it has to be 60 FPS all the way for me and that's how to um, that's basically how to use Sony Vegas to interpolate 30 FPS content to 60 FPS and in, in order for it to work you, your content has to be at 30 frames a second the original original recording has to be 30 FPS because a lot of games on console run at 30 frames a second. So if you want them to look like 60 FPS so they look more closely in line with the, the bigger and better versions on PC, then, you know, do this. The only drawback is the rendering time is a bit longer. If I was to render this whole fight, it'd take a long time. Um, a lot longer than normally rendering this full fight out. It'd take about half an hour maybe on my computer. But with Twixter, it'd take... <laughs> about four hours three four hours I'm not so sure I'm just guessing but that is how to interpolate video using Twixter and Sony Vegas to 60 FPS from 30 FPS check out my me GUI uh, playlist and you'll see examples of gameplay uh, let's do another one um, untitled 6 
let's show you that one this is kill zone let's double let's make it full screen this is 60 fps converted to 60 fps but watch these are the early experiments see the cursor there the sorry the crosshair watch it uh, ghost yeah you can see visually it's 60 fps because this is a 30 fps game it looks so much better in my opinion um but i'm in the process at the moment of trying to eliminate these uh you know this ghosting that you get on graphics like that different things like the top right there here watch this here it, you can see that ghost as well that's the, see what i mean because that's the interpolation but it's not very smooth so i'm currently trying to iron these problems out but uh, i'll let you know if i manage to you know get them looking any better than that and it might be an alternative to using media UI because sometimes that doesn't work but anyway let's get rid of that this is yet another video interpolation technique video using Sony Vegas this time in conjunction with Twixter Pro. And let's show you this one. This is an earlier bit of the fight that I recorded. This is all at 60 FPS. As you can see, it looks a lot better, a lot smoother, a lot crisper, and it, you know, it's it just looks better on my eyes. And uh, if you want to try this out for yourself, if you've got a decent PC, you know, you're you're onto a winner. And if you're just starting YouTube and you want your videos to look better than the average recording, say if you've got um, a 30 FPS 1080p PS4 Pro SharePlay recording, if you import that into your PC and use these techniques, or use this program down here, MediaUI then you can actually make your gameplay look like 60 frames a second. All right, I hope I've explained everything clearly. And uh, thank you for watching the video. And if you've got AMD, download this. It's I'll show you what it is. It's 16.12.1, the uh, latest statual. Uh, I've just clicked the wrong thing. It's the latest driver for AMD graphics cards. Click that off. Click that off, click that off, and shut the fuck up, and go and have some <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> See you later, thanks. Thanks for watching, guys.